Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at um, first something to groove, and then basically we're going to turn that into a trick of the trade, just to give that extra little edge if you're ever playing in front of someone. Right, the first thing is just a really, really simple 16th note. So if you're. Easiest thing to do. To change it up a bit, what you want to do is you play, you bring your left hand down to snare on the offbeat, so it's. All straight, nothing different there. All you're doing is you're moving your left hand down instead of your right. Gives you the offbeat, gives a totally different feel to the groove. So instead of being. on all four so you can feel the way through it. That's great, really really useful actually that little movement with your hand because a brilliant thing to do is go from a 16th pattern into a, a bit of a, a solo because what you will realise when you solo and what we all realise is that the, the groove you've been playing initially is a limiting factor because you think well it still needs to fit before I can move off until I do whatever I want to do. So if you're playing loads of songs based around that pattern. If you want to change the tempo of a bit, change the feel of a bit, start throwing some of those lefts in and rights and you know mess it around a bit. See if you get something like this. exactly the same but you've mixed it around the kit so if you're going suddenly you're off into a solo and you've got a lot more to play with because it's a different rhythm really really easy really really useful now I'm going to show you a trick of the trade a uh, trick of the trade is to make things look difficult when they're easy uh, this sounds really strange, but if you're playing something that sounds normal but looks different, other drummers are going to go, wow, there's something new there. And guitarists, bassists, who very always tend to watch the drummer play if you're grooving together, jamming together, they'll go, oh, that's different, and it'll get you noticed. And what we're going to do is going to throw a double in on the right. So, uh, so it stays sounding when we're playing 16 notes, and let's bring the left hand. So what it sounds like is just... really simple right but what it's going to look like is so all it requires is two doubles Really, really simple to do. So you get the right double before, bring the left hand down, the left double afterwards. What it's going to do instead of being. That's out of time. Show you that gives you quite a lot of variations. What you can do, little thing, is to little thing is to bring that double down to snare. So if you're going, you still got the same double off on the left to recover it, but then you've got a double on the snare. Really, really easy thing to do. Nice bit of sound to the groove. So you got the original groove there. You got the trick of the trade to make things sound normal. You got extra little double. That trick of the trade, you got the double straight double, right straight left double. You can bring it down to snare, give yourself something else to play with. Work on them. The trick of the trade is purely for if you're playing with other people and then you want to look a bit different. No real need to do it in a groove, but it can, uh, as I say, the doubles can open up something else if you move around the kit and carry on playing straight on the straight 16 groove with the left hand. A bit of something to work on there. Enjoy that. So I'm going to get a nice bit of intricate stuff working on the hi-hat snare, and we're going to put some really, really difficult stuff out. 
see if we can get some work on the uh, with the hands and the feel there. So enjoy that one, I'm working it really hard. Good luck.